He's one of the standout performers of 2017. Tyrrell Hatton's back-to-back -back wins at the Dunhill Lynx Championship and the Italian Open in October showed his game at its very best. The 26-year-old has broken into the world top 20 and now looks almost certain to be part of the European team at next year's Ryder Cup. We asked two men who've watched him throughout the year to explain how he's stepped up his game. The thing that impresses me about Tyrrell is he's worked with his father since he was very young um, and they keep it really simple which is nice and refreshing because so many guys make the golf swing really complicated, you've got to buy mechanics guys and talk very technically and he and his father don't, they keep it really simple. They have a, a session of sort of points in his swing that they say right these are key positions for you to get into and all they do is monitor it and when it gets slightly out of whack in those key positions they put it back in. Um, what I particularly admire about his technique is very little manipulation of the club through impact which means great consistency. An upright swing that shallows out a little bit on the way down but generally keeps the club in front of him really well so through impact there's not a lot of the manipulation of the face you can just keep that face nice and square to the path all the way through so a very simple technique and one that he doesn't overcomplicate. just says to his dad keep me on that track and we'll see how we go and it's doing very well. He had five missed cuts Tyrrell in the middle of the season and you would think then that season's going to peter out. Then he turns up and defends the Alfred Dunhill Lynx Championship. I thought one of the events of the year was Italy because of the quality of golf that he, Ross Fisher and Appy Banrat produced at the end there. Tyrrell's one of these lads who's total belief in himself. He has a problem with his temperament, there isn't any doubt about that, it's talked about quite a lot. I talked about it a long time ago up in Aberdeen when he was 22 years of age. You forgive him then at 22, he's got to solve the problem with the temperament. If he does, he can go as high as he wants. Uh, at the end of the day, his, his temperament gets the better of him on occasion, but it's part of the reason he's as good as he is. I asked him a question recently in an interview where I said, do you use anger to motivate you? And he said, yeah, definitely. I, when I get cross, it makes me want more desperately to get the birdies to get it back. So it's part of his makeup and it's what makes him so good. But last week he went away and obviously broke his putter with a couple of holes to go. And then you're in a position where now you're handicapping yourself because if you haven't got a putter halfway through the round, you're not going to be able to shoot the score you should. So he needs to improve on that temperament a little bit. But I don't want to see him take it away completely because that fire is part of the reason he's as good as he is. It's a very delicate situation. Uh, and we've seen that with all sportsmen that, that live on the edge, as, as Terrell does. You have to be very careful what you do with that. You, you take something away from him, uh, you may take half the player away and, and then he just becomes a, an average player on tour, which right now he's not. He has the capabilities, I think, of, of being a top five player in the world and I'd be surprised if he doesn't achieve that in the course of the next few years. While there's no question about it, his golf, there is a question on his temperament. I think he knows that, I think his dad Jeff knows that, his manager knows it and, and between them they have to try and solve that problem because if they don't, it will stop them taking that final step into the world's elite. The great thing about life is no two people are the same and there are places, there are places in sport for the likes of, of a hot Tyrrell Hatton and a hot Pat Perez and I wouldn't like to see all of that disappear. It would be terrible if we were all the same. But uh, I'm sure he's aware that this winter he's got to look back because the, the dip he had in the middle of the season, I think, was caused a little by all of the talk of, of him getting too hot in the course, damaging his own prospects. And the other thing is you don't want to behave like that with the players you're playing alongside because then you're going to damage them as well. So I think the next two or three months for Till is very important. I also think it's very important he continues doing what he's doing on the golf course. He's a lovely player to watch. He's technically sound and he certainly knows how to win.